Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing five DIYs that will help make your room ready for summer. These five DIYs are really easy to do and you might even be able to use objects you have around your home. If you would like a full list of materials that I used in this video, then just check out the description below and I'll have links and a list. One is pen holders that are very festive and look like watermelons because who can resist watermelon in the summertime? Then we're going to make a picture frame whiteboard. It's way cheaper than going out and buying your own whiteboard. And you can get a frame from the dollar store or even from a local thrift store. The third project is a DIY terrarium that doesn't have any real plants because as you can see, I have a troublemaking kitty over there and they like to eat my plants. So I can't have any real plants in my house, so I'll show you two different ways that you can make it look like you have life in your house when you don't. The fourth project we're going to do is a DIY summery pillow. The fifth DIY, you can actually kind of see it in the back there, we're going to make a wall hanging. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The project we're going to start with is the pen holder. To make this you need two mason jars, paint in the color red, blue, yellow, white, and black, and three different sizes of paint brushes. Start by putting all of the paint on the palette. We are going to start painting with the red, but keep in mind you'll need to mix some green paint with yellow and blue. You won't need much black or white. You're going to paint most of the jar red, but you're going to leave just over an inch at the bottom clear so that you can paint the green on to look like the rind. You want to do two or three coats to make sure that it's thick enough that you can't see through the paint. Also make sure it dries all the way before the next step. Next we're going to add some white paint to look like the white part in between the rind and the fruit. Once the white part is done, you just need to paint on some black paint in the shape of a teardrop to make the seeds of the watermelon. Just scatter them around, having them face different directions just to make it look more like it is a watermelon. Then you just need to seal it in with dishwasher safe Mod Podge. This ensures that you can clean it if it gets dirty on the sides. And it will also keep the colors vibrant and the details safe. Remember to make sure that the jars are completely dry before you put anything in them. Otherwise you could end up scratching the outside. And this is what they look like done! They'll look so cute on your shelf holding your pens. It adds a splash of color. The next project we'll be doing is the DIY whiteboard. This project is so easy. You just have to go to the store and buy a picture frame. You can get them from the thrift store or from the dollar store. So this DIY is very cheap. Take everything out of the frame to prep to paint. And then go ahead and use a very large brush and pour the paint out so that you can access it easier. Brush the paint over the frame and if you want a distressed look, you can just do one coat of paint, but if you want it to be a more solid color, make sure to put two coats of paint. This is the finished product of the whiteboard. Now you can leave yourself nice little notes or keep track of your to-do list every single day. 
The next project is a terrarium. I found some cute little succulents that were plastic from the dollar store, so I decided to pick those up to show you guys how you can arrange those. And then I also found the rocks that I have here at the dollar store as well. The jars I have are from the dollar store and from Salvation Army. Both of these DIYs together cost me less than $10. Open up the rocks and pour them into the containers so that there's plenty of room at the top for the succulents to go in. Save the big rocks for the second DIY. Once the rocks are in, you can place the fake plants anywhere you like. Now you're going to use the bigger rocks that you saved from before and paint them green to look like mini succulents. This is a cheaper version of the other DIY and it's much more fun because you can make it your own. Once you paint them all green, go ahead and let them dry and then we'll move on to the next step. Next, you're going to take a very small brush and some white paint and you're going to paint little tic-tac like strokes onto the green so that it looks like little prickers sticking out. This is definitely a more cartoonish look than an actual cactus has, but it's super cute when it's all done. I decided to make it look like a few of my little cacti had little flowers on top, so I'm going to just use pom-poms in pink and yellow to make it look like tiny little flowers are sprouting out. Just glue those on with hot glue. Now just like you did before, arrange the little cacti around so it looks like they're growing together. The fourth DIY that I'll be showing you today is a DIY pillow. I just got my pillow from the Salvation Army, washed it, and decided to paint a design on it. You can make your own pillow cover if you want to, or you can just buy an old pillow or use an old pillow that's laying around to make this DIY. For paint, I just used puffy paint and I painted it on as if it was acrylic paint. That way it doesn't look as silly as it would if it was sticking out of the pillow. To go with the earlier theme of succulents, I decided to paint an aloe vera plant coming out of one side and a tropical flower growing out of the other. You can do a similar design or a completely different one if you want to. I would love to see different designs if you do them. Make sure that your design dries for 24 hours before you wash it or use it on your couch or bed. If you don't, then it might not be dry all the way so it might smudge onto some things. Puffy paint takes a long time to dry, so just follow this rule and you'll be safe. The last DIY is a Bohemian inspired yarn wall hanging. 
This is really easy to make. You just need a big piece of cardboard to wind the yarn onto so that you have the same length for each bit. And then also you need either some old yarn that you have laying around or you can go out and buy some from the discounted sections that people returned or were damaged in the store. You also need a big stick to tie all of the yarn onto. When you wind the yarn around, you want to try to make sure that each chunk of yarn is about the same thickness. So make sure that you're keeping track of how many times that you're wrapping it around. I wrapped each of mine 20 to 30 times. Tie each section of yarn as close to the other one as you can. Once you've tied on all your yarn, you can go ahead and lay it on the edge of a table or desk and then you can cut the edge however you'd like. You can cut it straight or you can do as I did here and cut little triangles into the bottom. And here's your bohemian style wall hanging. It's super easy to make. It does take some time, but it turns out really pretty and really adds some color to your room during the summer. Well, I hope you really enjoyed these five easy DIYs and I hope that you make them on your own. If you do decide to make them, please share them with me on Instagram. I love to see what other people create. My Instagram is down below as well as in a screen card right here. So I hope you enjoyed these five DIYs. I know I did. I really like this pillow. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please leave a comment down below saying which DIY was your favorite and maybe which one you might try. And also, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe and comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more videos, just go ahead and hit that bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload, which is every Saturday. I'll see you next week. Bye!